Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Brianna, and today I'm going to show you how to properly film yourself with your instrument and how to send it or upload it to me or any other person. This video is made for a specific group of people, and if you're watching, this may not apply to you, and some of you guys watching, you will know that it applies to you. Now let's get on with the video! For my fellow piano players out there, please do not film this way when I'm filming with the camera facing upwards and your piano's right here because that is a very, very unprofessional and bad way to film. And also do not film this way either because First of all, the lighting, if there's a lamp or something right above you, a uh, ceiling fan, that makes your face look all weird and you can see these little pixels all around me. You do not want that because that is very unprofessional and all they see is you playing and they, they just see your hands moving all around like crazy. <laughs> Also, do not film portrait mode. Portrait mode is not very good. As you can see, these two bars right next to me, that's also one thing that also does not look very professional. So make sure you film your phone like this. Not like this, but like this. Okay, so this is the correct way you should be filming your piano slash keyboard. So how you should have it is the camera is looking over this way, filmed horizontal, so you can see the whole piano, and it can see your face, see your arms playing, or whatever you're doing with your piano. And one tip, just saying, um, never film in front of a window, because sometimes, like when the window is open, it's like all light and messes up your lighting and everything. So I do not recommend going. Um, in front of a window and filming because it won't focus on your face sometimes and the lighting will just get all jacked up So for you string players out there or any person that stands up while they're playing or sits down while they're playing and They need a music stand um, Please never make the stand too high so it cannot see your face because that is no fun so one camera angle that could be acceptable is if you are like this, looking at your music and it's filming you from here. And another camera angle that could also be acceptable is if you are playing like this, pointing at the music and playing. So now you may be asking, how can I upload a video if the file's too big? So first, you know you need to record it on your phone not your computer, but on your phone, and then you need to upload it to YouTube, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Some of you guys, you do not want other people seeing your YouTube videos, so what you need to do is we're going to make it private, but if you send the link to someone, then they'll be able to see it. So it's basically called unlisted. Okay, so first what I need you to do is I need you to go to your browser or whatever like you use. So I use Google Chrome. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go onto YouTube and as you can see, it'll say sign in. So we're gonna sign in. So what you need for this is you need a Google account, which is an email on Google. So you can um, sign in. So if you have a Google account, you can just sign in with your Google account and then you'll basically have like your own little YouTube channel. So I'm gonna go sign in right now. Okay, so now I am on YouTube. So currently I'm on movies and shows. You'll normally be on home. So mine just popped up on movies and shows. So this is the home. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna press create a video and more. So you're gonna go to upload video and we'll just wait until it finishes loading. Okay, so it says drag and drop a file you want to upload. So you can either move this and then like drag your video, but this isn't a video, it's a screenshot. Or you can press select file. 
and there'll be some videos, so I'm just gonna post this video. So then, you can name it whatever you want. You can make yes, it's made for kids, no, it's made for kids. If you want comments and stuff, then put no, it's not made for kids, and put no, don't restrict my video for viewers over 18, and, like over 18 only. So then you can put your custom thumbnail. I, if you want me guys to make a video of how to do that, I will do that. Then video elements, when your video is done loading um, and all edited and stuff, this thing will pop up. So then we need to, this is the most important part. We need to go to visibility. Okay, so that only I see it, or if you're sending me a video or something, or if you want like a specific person to see it, then you need to go to unlisted. Once it's unlisted, um, it's basically your video is private, but anyone you send the link to can see it. Okay, so you can just press unlisted. So once you've done that, see it says 27 minutes left till my video is done uploading. So as you can see, I have all that. So then I'm gonna just press save. So right now it's saving as a draft. And we're just gonna wait for um, a little bit for the video so you guys can be able to see it. And then I'll show you how to send it to a specific person and like email it to them. And if you guys need a more in-depth video of how to like post stuff on YouTube, I can show you how. Just comment down below that I need a more in-depth video of how to do it and I'll do it for you guys. Okay, so my video is done uploading. So as you can see, it's here. Make sure it's unlisted. So you press view on YouTube and it's right here on YouTube. If you upload in 4K, um, it might say quality, like the lowest quality it can be. Do not worry, it's just because sometimes YouTube takes a little bit for the videos to render. So it might take like a few minutes or maybe an hour at the most for it to go all the way to the 4K quality if you're worried about that. So now we're gonna go to the email and send it to whoever we need to send the video to. All right, so we're gonna compose. As you can see, I blurred everything on my screen, so I do not expose anyone. So now I'm gonna just send it to myself, and I'm gonna say, hi, this is me. And then I'm gonna show you how to copy and paste the link. So what you do is you select it, you do Command C, and then you go here and you do Command V. So then we're gonna send it. And to make sure that you've sent it, if you're not sure, go to the sent, that's right here, and it says Tubery. Okay, that means we sent it. If you're the person receiving it, you they check it on inbox. Um, I did not put a subject, but you guys can choose a subject or whatever you want to put. So, and then if the person touches that link, um, it'll take them to here and they'll be able to view it with, without like anyone else viewing it unless they have the link. And hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. Bye!